I'm Kevin Bradley. I'm a sophomore at Union University. And Tuesday night, me and six other guys were trapped 25 feet under debris for over four hours. The tornado alarm's been going off. And we had, were supposed to go downstairs. We lived in the upstairs of the dormitory. We were supposed to go downstairs and take shelter. And we'd been in there maybe, maybe three minutes. And we look up and the wall's just shaking. We hear this loud noise like, gets louder and louder. Next we know, the wall is just coming down on us. The uh, stall door on my left, I've been sitting on the floor, just comes out of nowhere, just catches me right across my chest and kind of head and throws me through the wall. There had been three of us in the girls' bathroom and four guys in, in the guys' bathroom right behind us. But by the time the tornado was done with us, it had thrown us through the wall and we were just right on top of the guys in the other bathroom. We immediately realized that, you know, we should be dead. With what just happened and just from kind of being able to feel a little bit of what was around us, we knew we should be dead. So immediately, you know, we just started thanking God that, you know, up until this point, we hadn't died. I mean, we knew we should have been dead. All the people that were okay and able to get out come running out and we can hear them walking on top of us. And there was, you know, is there anybody down here? Is anybody down here? You know, can you hear us? And we were all screaming. All seven of us were screaming, hey, we're down here, get us out, you know, help, we're stuck. And we hear him say, okay, let's go check somewhere else. And the guys run away. The rescuer that got me out said I'd been on there for over four hours. We prayed a lot. I mean, we prayed a lot. Um, one guy started singing a praise and worship song that we'd sung in chapel. Just throughout the whole event, you know, we just felt that we were gonna get out and that we were protected. And we could just kind of feel that, you know, God was looking out for us and was just kind of right there with us. I would have thought that, you know, we'd be praying, but it would just be like, you know, more like what you expect other people to be praying, you know, God, just get us out of here, please help us, help us, help us. But this was more of a feeling of, just kind of a feeling of peace and security knowing that he was there with us, where before you would think it was just kind of a, you know, invisible friend that you're just praying to because it makes you feel better. You hear that, you know, God's your savior, God's your protector, but until something like that actually happens, you don't really have a sense of, wow, you know, God really is there for me. You know, he was there the whole time. He was there when I needed him. Um, so there's just a closeness, closeness now with God that I don't think I had before, that I do feel now. You know, praying, I feel like he's just right there. I don't feel like, you know, our prayers are hitting the ceiling. I feel like he's just right there with me because that's the exact same way I felt while we were trapped. The one thing that was consistent is just knowing, you know, God is here with us. You know, people just kept on repeating that over and over. You know, guys, God's here with us. God can hear us. These other guys might not be able to hear us. They might not know where we are, but God does. So we just need to pray to God. You know, he's going he's gonna to be the one that gets us out of this. And he's going to be the one that gets the glory. 